Hello guys and welcome to our brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer Mugen Resha Hen, the anime episode number one. All right, um, I've already watched the movie. I also have a reaction out of it in my channel, you know. So if you've not checked it out and you want to see, I'll be linking it down in the description box. You can go check it out. Other than that, this I think has some new animations, some new stuff which will be added and which we never got to see in the movie and this will be of seven episodes i think and after that we'll be starting with season two uh there is the entertainment district arc so so this will go up until december and then it'll it'll start from there so now obviously like most of the things we have already experienced but this will be i'm guessing more stuff like more fleshed out more stuff will be added and because a movie is like a 2 2.3 like you know 2.5 hours long and this since this will have like seven episodes it will be like 140 minutes which means okay, it will kind of be the same but i'm guessing they'll be adding more stuff into it i'm not sure how they're going to do it but i'm quite interested and from the trailers and stuff that we all that we could gather is that there are stuff which like you know in, in the movie we saw it from when Rengoku was already in the train but here we're probably going to see what happened before that for example in the trailer we saw like you know Rengoku kind of eating I think soba or ramen I think that was soba he, he was eating and like you know him going to the train all that stuff so yeah let's see how this goes and I'm quite excited to check this out so without further ado let's get started this is my reaction to the first episode of Demon, Demon Slayer Mugen Reshahen the anime so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! <clears throat> Alright. So I'm wondering, are they going to uh, reuse the animations in the movie or are they going to do everything from scratch? Let's see. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to. I need to lower the volume. This is loud. Kimetsu no Yaiba Mugen Resha Hen. Flame Hashira Kyojo Judo Rengoku. Noodles. Okay. Got it. What's this? Ha! Huh, there he is. Mike! <laughs> Damn. It's been a while I've seen him. We've seen him. Hmm. Wow. The lightings. So. Oh. The lighting, the visuals. Wow. Damn the animation, the water. Damn, I'm distracted at the sova. I'm, I, I wasn't able to pay proper attention to what they were talking. Damn, that looks good. <laughs> oh my god, all this food in anime is. Oh, just look at it. Damn, UFO table, animation, animated food. Yeah, there's no one here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Wow. 
Yeah. Out of service. Hmm. All right. Sudden train shed. Oh my God, look at the food. Oh my God. That definitely is a mine. Conductor's body, okay. My God, they're showing us these. Oh my God, again, food. All these tasty f Who is this person? Oh, it's a new character. Oh, is that grow? Okay. How to cook Western food? Oh, it's a grandma. Okay. Is this a girl or a boy? I think it's a girl, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the moon is exquisite tonight. Direct. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Don't throw your um um. He'll, he'll start eating it or something. Let's see. <laughs> I knew it. Hmm. Yeah. Damn, they look the same completely. Obviously, this granddaughter. <laughs> wow all of them <laughs> oh my god this guy <laughs> oh he's sending it back okay nice <laughs> Wait, does does she know anything about Rengoku? It feel it seemed as, as if she... Okay. She looked surprised looking at Rengoku. I don't know what that was about. I hope hopefully nothing bad happens to those two. Okay, there he is. Oh no, he's a free. he thinks that <laughs> Here we go, food. <laughs> no, I don't think that will work. Hmm. 
Okay. No longer in the shed. Oh. That's close. Yes, no need to stop the train. I can handle it. <laughs> Wait, where is where is this bento? Oh, there he is. There it is. I was like, did he like leave the bento back? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh damn, the... The color transition, like water and then it's flame. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Okay. They're checking it or something. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Whoa, what? Oh no. We had this thing, we saw it before. Oh boy. Ah! Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah, oh my god. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. Oh, let's go. Yeah, it is kind of difficult. Because... Oh my god, oh! So this thing is like a repeat, like he was the one who was doing this all along. It's not multiple demons, it's just him. Oh, he saved her, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy.
Not if you're dead before that, you know. What? Oh boy. Oh God. Get to the station. Wait, what? Oh, no, no. Flash off his hand. Nice. There you go. There you go. Slash off his hand. Oh, no. He's going to run. Oh, he's, he's going to the station. Quick. He's going to the station. Yeah. Oh, Lord. He is fast indeed. Damn, yeah. Wow, the animation, look at it. Yeah, you need to go to the... Okay, there you go, thank God. Yeah. He needs to go to the station first. All right. But won't he be late? Like he's running normally. Okay, there you go. Come on. There you go. Yes, that's what I was waiting for. Ooh. Oh my god. So cool. Oh. oh, this is the morning. Okay. Oh no. He's here. Oh. No, that's not. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, kill him with the stench. Just kill him with the stench. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh, I thought she. Oh! Rengoku. I'm sure he'll come. He was running, yeah, there you go, he was running on top of the tracks, so. Hmm. Oh no. Damn, this thing is relentless. What the hell is he? Well, well, Rangoku was here, so... Um... By running, I guess? <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah. This thing still has no idea who he's messing with. Ooh! There you go! Oh, so she did meet him! Wait! No, wait, who is this?
I don't think that's Rengoku. Who is that? Wow. Twice. No, I think that was that was most probably not him because No, not him. It must be Yeah, like he's quite young, Rengoku. So it's kind of impossible. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you know. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, at the moment. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Oh, she's here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 that one. <laughs> <laughs> One can always have more food, more food, you know. Hmm. Oh my god. This let's meet again and we know what's going to happen. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> there they are. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. Oh.
うまいうんあわお、だんろくくる。うまいだいが。わお。Okay, that's it. Okay, this. Okay, let me just see this as well. <laughs> oh boy. Dear <laughs> boy. What? Oh, the... oh, he's telling him. Oh, wait, let's. Yeah, yeah, I also want to hear that. Later. Yes. Okay. Good person. Okay. Wait, all of them? What? <laughs> okay. Ow. Interesting way of. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, he even. Everyone loves him. Wow. Oh, yeah. What? Okay. He often speaks. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you'll find him very quickly by how Inosuke's. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, that's it. Wow, okay, so this was the beginning, and this was a complete new, like, you know, new section which was not in the movie. And we got to see the background of what happened before the whole movie started. Now, <clears throat> one thing I'm kind of wondering is uh, from the next episode, obviously, Tanjiro and the crew will get in. So, are they going to, like, as I was saying, like, are they going to, like, use uh, the movie portions or are they going to do everything from scratch? That's one thing I'm quite interested about. I'm sure we'll get our answers next week. In the, from the with the second episode and they're also probably going to add some more stuff which was never added in the movie excuse me that's how we're going to get some new stuff and also some stuff that we already know so yeah it'll probably be something like that all right so this episode here this is the, this is the beginning and we see how uh rengoku met this uh, bento uh seller uh, the old lady and her granddaughter. So. Okay, so from the beginning, we could see that, like, like, you know, I realized that there must be something with the old lady because she was very surprised while looking at Rengoku. And it was a small little section, but she, she was surprised. And then she went back to the normal way, you know. But then we get to know he, that she had already met rengoku's dad and you know like they already saved them once and at that time it was i think fuku's uh mother and it was her so 
that's how she already knew him and she felt as if he was familiar but wasn't able to properly like you know recognize him but then like you know then he realized she realized that ah oh, this is the same person it's kind of correct it was not she was he Rengu was not the same person but it was actually his dad but still everything everything you know is completely similar to his dad the way he takes out the katana the way he fights and also the way he sheets it kind of hand hand like you know kind of handles the sword all that stuff yeah okay so now from this episode as always this is ufo table like no doubt about it the animation is just phenomenal and <laughs> the whole uh, section of i think that was soba wasn't it let me just say i think that was soba if i'm wrong let correct me in the comment section the you know the uh, what rengoku was eating in the uh, in the diner so <laughs> Like the way he was making it, <laughs> the the animation is, is so <laughs> so cool, you know, like so well done. And uh, like uh, genuinely at that moment, like they were talking, and I was <laughs> more distracted at the guy making making the noodles, you know, like the way he was kind of handling the noodles. I was more <laughs> distracted at that. <laughs> the, the animation was so beautiful, and the you know the whole process was done so what can i say so good and so clearly <laughs> oh boy that was great anyways that was okay that that was that and then we meet the two uh, fuku and the grandma and okay one thing we can see is obviously like reng who loves eating you know and <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's, he's a really great person. We already know that, you know, from the movie. And here we meet a new demon who, who seemed as if he was the person who was behind everything, but he was actually not. You know, the one in the Mugen train is definitely someone else, and we know that. But this guy was just, this, this demon was just kind of like a distraction. And he, you know, this demon... He was, he was just too cocky and did not really, like, you know, think that there would be someone who could be stronger than him. And yet, he paid the price. He tried to act smart, tried to go for the person that Rengoku, you know, had met with before, the, the bento sellers. Tried to kill them and failed. Spectacularly. Rengoku just came in so quick. And just defeated him and obviously like you know like he was fast that guy was that demon was fast but this is rengoku like you know he's he's like a bold like you know like a he's like a fire uh what can i say yeah like an like a ball of fire like he went so quickly that he just came here so like you know like the the demon ran a long way before rengoku took the guy kind of did a little first aid on him you know the guy who was uh, injured and then the, the demon corpse came in he handed the guy to the demon corpse and then he started running after so long and he just arrived just a few minutes later than the demon the de demon came the demon tried to like you know threaten the girl you know tried to kill the girl fuku and in came Rengu. that really shows how fast he was you know and like you know it, it was a long distance i'm sure about it the, the whole distance between the uh, like you know the the mugen train and the uh the bento uh, place it was very long i'm sure about it but it, it just it was just a matter of seconds for rengoku and he just came in so quickly and yeah like just defeated them so quickly and easily and yeah this this, this thing was like a scrub you know this demon like this is a, this is one of those extra characters <laughs> So yeah, like he just wiped him off, and uh, yeah, then then we get to the next part and we see. Now here's the thing: the sad portion here is like we already know what's going to happen, you know, like the conclusion, and 
kind of felt sad about the whole situation where the when Fuku and the grandma says that oh like uh what did they say like yeah we'll meet again no no they did not say it. i think rengoku said that just a sec they say that please be careful please stop by if you're here in this area uh oh yeah I, I, they said okay okay not rengoku no no rengoku also said rengoku then said that now then take care let's meet again one day like this whole section now we already know what's going to happen it's kind of sad like you know seeing this this scene where you know the like rengu says that yeah we'll meet again but unfortunately we know how this is going to go down oh yeah and yeah then we see the girl selling more bentos <laughs> tanjiro inosuke and you know like they come you know you know ske as always kind of <laughs> is like bashing the <laughs> train kind of funny and uh, yeah that was it nothing much to talk about here uh, oh uh, one th oh and we also kind of got little uh, sneak peeks of all the characters who were in the mugen train you know those those little those like you know those characters so the girl and the boy i, I don't remember their name you know them and yeah obviously rengoku and tanjiro all of them were here and yeah and then there was a little section after that where we kind of i think there was like an extra portion where they you know tanjiro and they were talking about rengoku and the group told them what others think about rengoku and everybody loves rengoku here you know and <laughs> like so what can i say like so interesting that everybody like each and every character likes him and like this usually in a, like you know, within a group of people some people like some people more some people does not like some people you know and it, it, it's that's how it usually goes you know for example if there's like a group of seven person uh three persons probably like someone and the other four doesn't like that same person and it's kind of like that but here we can see how each and every character in their own way kind of liked him so much and uh, yeah like okay let's check out what the different characters told shinobu says that uh <clears throat> just a sec okay <clears throat> shinobu says that I said he's a good person, though there are times when we are not on the same lev wavelength. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was Shinobu. All right. Now, thinking. Uh, okay, I need to start remembering these characters. Um, this guy who will be important in the next arc, uh, you know, in season two, the Entertainment District arc, is called. Tengen Uzui. Tengen. Okay, I need to remember the, the name. Uh, okay, so he, he says that flamboyant sticks out even... Where have I heard his voice? Just a sec. His voice sounds so familiar. Okay, let's just a sec. Let me, I'm, I'm just checking out his voice actor. Uh, Katsu Yuki Konishi. Uh, oh, oh, Jonathan Joestar. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. Jonathan Joestar? Okay, yeah, yeah, I can, I can hear it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Jonathan Joestar. That's why I was thinking, like, okay, who is it? Um, yeah, I can, I can, I can hear the voice now. <laughs> I felt as if I've heard his voice quite a few times, and uh, yeah, that's him. Okay, who else? Let's see. Uh. 
Oh, Shaman King, Amida Maru. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, I think these are the only ca characters that I am quite familiar with. Yeah. Oh, another character, um, Black Clover, Virgo Leon. Okay, yeah, yeah, now I can really hear him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I recognize that voice now. <laughs> okay, so that's Tengen Izui. He says that flamboyant sticks out more than me. But he's a really good guy. Great guy. Okay, uh, the other, this, now the next person. He's called Muichiro Tokito. Okay. It's like an owl. The cheery voice is so computer comforting to hear. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, the next character. Mitsuri Kanroji. The names are quite difficult. I, I'll, it'll probably take a little while for me to start remembering them. He's like a super cool big brother. I had so much fun training with him. He really doted on me. <laughs> okay. Okay, then Obanai Iguro. Uh, talks a lot. He has a good personality. <laughs> Love him. <laughs> Alright. Okay, the next one. Uh, Sanemi Shinazugawa. Now, here's the thing. Um, obviously, I've not read the manga, so I don't know anything about this character. But his first impressions from season one was definitely bad. The whole thing with like, you know, Nezuko and everything, like, you know, but obviously like, you know, I always say this and I also believe this myself, like never judge a character before you know everything about him. And so that's why, like, you know, even though it feels as if he's a very nasty person, I think like you know probably later on we're probably going to change our mind because he seems some like someone who has gone through a lot i don't know why but i feel like something like that and that's why probably he's so paranoid maybe maybe something happened you know like to him because of demons and that's why he was so uh like you know uh so angry when he realized that nezuko was a demon and like you know uh like you know like, uh, like we've let a demon in in the uh, like you know within this place within that place so i think like that's why like you know like i'm not like you know going to what can i say like make a judgment on him later on i'm sure we're going to get to know more about this character and after that i'm going to think about it because as i said i i don't like making judgment about people who who, who clearly have a lot more like character development and a lot more things like we don't have their backstory or anything i don't like like you know judging those type of characters by their first impressions so yeah like i'm i'm still kind of neutral on him i don't know like you know what you know what things he have gone through and stuff so yeah but uh yeah he he looks very serious so I'm, i was quite a little bit surprised to see he also kind of compliment rengoku <laughs> He says that he's a good guy and he's, he's direct about it. He's just like he's a good guy. So that was really surprising for me because I, I didn't think he would be someone who would be complimenting someone so directly. You know, like he just directly said that he's a good guy. And there's also like a little, you know, like text bubble where it says that loves him. And then the, the next person, Gyome Himejima. Positive, never once. I obviously know his voice actor. It, it, it's Gintoki's voice actor, isn't it? From Gintama. Honest. Yeah, it's Gintoki. Okay. And then in the end, we. Uh, Tomioka's impressions. He says that he often speaks to me. And also, he also loves him. Like everybody loves <laughs> Rengoku. <laughs> kind of obvious because he's such a great person, you know. Like what can i say like like so like you know so what can i say like so direct rengoku and so what can i say how can i refer to him so direct so positive so nice uplifting and kind and um yeah like you know like like very what can i say i don't know like you know basically he's good he's, he's, he's a nice character we already know that from mugen uh, train art and uh, yeah <laughs> the ending was kind of nice like, you know the little section and uh, yeah 
So get ready, guys. I guess uh, we'll, uh, the sad part portions will start from, I'm guessing, the sixth or the seventh episode. So yeah, get ready to feel depressed again, I guess. So that's it. So thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Demon Slayer Mugen Reshahen, the anime episode number one. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Demon Slayer Mugen Reshahen, the anime. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.